This video explains direct control of a single acting cylinder. Now the components of the circuit are as shown over here. So first we have shown the FRL unit. Then we are having push button operated start wall. Then we are having the normally closed direction control wall and a single acting cylinder. So compressed air from the air compressor it will enter into the FRL unit that is filter regulator and lubricator unit. Then it will enter into the start wall. Now in the right envelope mode when the push button is not operated the it is the air line is connected to the block port and therefore no operation will be performed and hence these two walls they are not connected with each other and therefore no air is admitted on this side of the piston and therefore there will be a retraction of the piston against the spring force and will get the return motion. The air from this side will enter through this port and it will be given to the atmosphere. When the push button of both this wall is operated then we will get the left envelope mode in the operation and when this left envelope mode is in operation then these two walls they will get connected with each other and the air will be admitted on the on this side of the piston and will get the forward motion. So now operate this particular push button simultaneously. So we have operated both these particular push buttons and now we will get the connection of the air line over here and the piston will move in the forward direction. So compressed air from the air compressor will enter into the FRL unit and as we are having the left envelope mode now this line will be connected and here also the push button is pressed so we will get the left envelope mode and the air from this particular wall also will enter on the cylinder side of this piston and will cause the forward motion of the piston. So this is known as the direct control of the single acting cylinder. Now we can have the another arrangement also. So in the previous case we have seen that we are having the start wall which was push button operated. Now instead of that we can have the manual operation of the start wall. Suppose we are having the left envelope mode then air from the compressed air from the air compressor will enter into the FRL unit then it will go through this start wall but over here if we do not operate the push button then we will get this right envelope mode and again the air line is blocked so there will not be any operation and due to the spring force the retraction of the piston will take place and will get the return motion the air from this side will go to the atmosphere from 2 to 3. So as you can see over here we are showing the animation indicating how the flow of the air will take place and the air is blocked and therefore retraction of the piston will take place so that is the return motion. Now if we operate this push button then we will get the left envelope mode so that this line will get connected to the cylinder so that we will see in the next slide. So here now you can see over here the push button is pressed and we will get this right and left envelope mode is in operation and the air will be admitted on the cylinder side of the piston and will cause the forward motion of the single acting cylinder. So in this way we can use this start wall for the direct control of a single acting cylinder. Thank you very much for watching.